What up guys? So this right here is my childhood diary. I found this the other day and I read like two days worth of what I had written and I thought it was so stupid and funny that I asked you guys on Instagram, I did a poll if you wanted me to read this in a video. Most of you said yes, so here we go. From what I was told, this was given to my mother. My grandmother gave it to her and then she had never written into it so she gave it to me. This is like super, super old. I have a little lock on it. I don't know where the key is. I lost the key but I can open it up in the very beginning. It's says keep out not your property and I was very serious about this because I didn't want anybody to read it let's see what the heck I was talking about in third grade <laughs> Mrs. K, third grade. I don't know why I wrote that in my own journal because like that's how we had to write in our school papers. We had to put our teacher's name and the grade that we were in. So I must have thought that I had to do this in my personal diary. Sunday afternoon, I was outside and I said if Jason would get me up to a tree, I would give him Evan's football. And then I was stuck in the tree and I was crying and he wouldn't get me down and he said jump but I couldn't because <laughs> it weighs too far down. <laughs> it was too far down, guys, and I got stuck all by myself. <laughs> so apparently my brother left me in the tree. Here's... <laughs> All right, November 21st, Dear Diary. In school, I was in art and I was making a toki. <laughs> and the art teacher... <laughs> Stuff. So like why the hell did my art teacher crumble it? What a nasty teacher. She crumbled it and then she said, do you want it? I, I promise you I don't remember that. Ha why would she do that? What did I do? What a horrible teacher. Wow. I had, okay, let's see. <laughs> I had an ear eraser. I had an ear eraser in my mouth and the teacher said, what is in your mouth? And I said, I wrote so supposed to be in dire. I didn't answer. <laughs> and she said, give me an answer. I said no. <laughs> I meant no to the answer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I must have gotten in trouble for telling her no, that she can't have the eraser, but I meant no about the answer? I don't know, that's so funny. Okay, oh my God, this is a kid I used to like. This is so funny. Kevin today, he said to me, why do you always run away from me? <laughs> when he told me that I knew N-E-W, he didn't want me to go away from him. Wait, I've, I don't understand what the hell, let me start over. When I went to go get a drink, as soon as Kevin heard, I spelled that wrong too, the water fountain thick up? What does that mean, thick? Um, I don't know, I'm sorry, like I was little. He turned his head and no saw me standing there. Why was I such an illiterate child? What was wrong with me? At this point, I started writing in cursive. The beginning was like terrible handwriting. Now I'm writing like in cursive, so. Maybe I was a little older. Actually, I was one year older. And he saw me standing there, I got a drink, and then pretended to get a drink. <laughs> he saw me, I was scared. <laughs> Yo, I made that word up, guys. I was scared. When I see him, I feel happy being around him. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> This is getting serious, guys. Cause I wrote at the top, it was one of my adventures. Dear Diary, today me and Hannah, oh no, I think I remember this story. <laughs> Dear Diary, today me and Hannah, Hannah was my best friend, walked home and back to school in the morning. We went to Hannah's house first because she ripped her pants on the way. <laughs> and when we went our house to get a bra, <laughs> This is such a funny story, I'll explain later because obviously this doesn't make sense. And today we realized that that was the stupidest thing we ever did. That day we went back to school, I was crying. We stuck together that day and we were laughing a little bit. <laughs> so I'll just tell you real quickly this story. I remember Hannah and I went to school and I guess she must have ripped her pants, I forgot about that. So she had to go home to get new pants. So we were in school and she had a bra on and I was like, I want a bra on. So we went to my house so that I could get a bra so we could both be wearing bras. And then we went back to school. It was like a little training bra with like no nothing, just like a little like fabric. 
It was just fabric, basically. So we went back to school, and I remember we got in trouble because the principal somehow found out that we had left school, and he, he yelled at us, and I was trying to lie and tell him some story, and he's like, that's a bunch of baloney, and he like told me that's his way of saying I was lying. But anyway, okay. Dear Diary, yesterday I had a Delco meet that went pretty well. Okay, so this is a gymnastics meet. So Delco, I think, was one of the other teams I competed against. Later, I went to a corner of my street. I meet, I meant to write met. <gasps> this is getting deep now. I must have been older because I remember this. Oh no, this is embarrassing. Okay, this is my first boyfriend that we're getting into. All right. Later, I went to the corner of my street. I meet Justin, his friend Jeff there. I walked him home and when I was about to leave, I said, give me a hug. So we hugged each other. <laughs> When I got home, I called him. He said he liked hugging me. <laughs> I said, me too. I really like Justin. He is so nice and real cute. <laughs> it's so funny to see what I was thinking as a child. Actually, I was probably... I was definitely a teenager at this point. He's also sweet. He sent me a letter in the mail. Jesus Christ. I like it. I will save it and keep it close to me <laughs> wants to go skating or to a movie with me. <laughs> I want to go with, but, but I am usually free on the weekend, but I have meets too, my gymnastics meets. He is busy sometimes on a weekend. <laughs> okay, so that's my story about Ju Oh no, I kept writing about Justin. He was important, I see. Dear Diary, this is like, how much later? This is two months later? What? I was talking to that kid that long. Okay, Justin. Okay. Dear Diary, tonight I was talking to Justin. Chad was over his house. I talked to Chad. He asked me out. Wow, what a mean friend. I don't remember that. But, but what? But later he said he's sorry because he knows I am going out with Justin. Chad told me something he didn't tell anyone. Uh-oh, am I supposed to tell you guys now? <laughs> Uh-oh. About a gang? <laughs> I asked him why he told me and not other people. He said, because I'm cute. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't even know what that was because I didn't write about it. Also, I find out that he lives in the woods. What a liar. How dare him lie? All right. He <laughs> I fell really bad for him. I want to do something to help him because everything that is happening tomorrow is going to be screwed up. I am supposed to do something with Jess tomorrow. I might have to cancel it, but I want I don't want to hurt his feelings. I hope she understands. I don't want to hurt her feelings. I hope she Wow, look how nice I was back then. Aww. But I can't believe this kid told me he lived in the woods and I actually felt bad for him thinking he was serious. Dear Diary, I like Chad now? <gasps> oh my god, what happened? I do not, I do not remember this and I don't remember which Chad this is. Who's this Chad? Wow. <gasps> I think he's so cute. I could never stop thinking about him. <laughs> I can't wait until next year so I can see him practicing every day at school. <laughs> wow. I hope to go out with him sometimes. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's hilarious. Oh god. Here we go. This is the day that my life was ruined as a child. I only wrote one sentence about it. Today, I got my period. I hate it so much because it ruined a big part of my life. And whatever else I said, I scribbled it out because I was so angry. <laughs> Let me see if I can look at it. What did I say? But I know why it ruined my life because it. I felt so uncomfortable as a child. Well, I was a teenager then, but like having your period and doing gymnastics was like, it sucked. It sucked. All right. Tonight, mom saw the note that Samantha wrote me about Brian. Sh oh my god. I can't believe I said that. I hate this diary now. I don't even want to repeat this. Oh, wow. I'm so mean. I said she's such a B, the curse word, and I underlined it. I'm so mean. She's so nosy and annoying. In the note, it said that I like Brian and had his number on it. I think of some kind of revenge. <laughs> I am so sorry. I can't believe I said that. I definitely, you know, as a kid, you don't mean horrible things. I, 
I hate that. I always hate that. Anyway, if you guys um, ever say or think something mean about your parents, you should try not to. I mean, I know as hard as it, I always tell people that even now, but like you should try not to because obviously they're being a parent. Like she's probably trying to see what's going on in my life by reading my stuff. Anyway, all right. Yesterday I went skating and I met, geez, there's so many guys in my diary. I met Mike there. His two other friends liked me too, Dennis and Paul. He is 14 and goes to Lincoln. I'm surprised he likes me. He's cute. We skated together for couples. They had couple skates where you're like, you're supposed to skate with someone. Um, when it was over, <gasps> this is my last one, I'll tell you. We hooked up. <laughs> Well, that's the end of my diary, I think. Let me check. Yeah, no hidden no hidden diary entries in here. Well, let me know what you guys thought of that. I'm going to lock it back up, even though I don't have the key and it doesn't lock. But I hope you guys enjoyed my diary as a child. It was very interesting to read back on that. I'm surprised that there were so many guys that I liked at that age. That's funny. And what I want you guys to do in the comments is share a funny childhood story of yourself. And I'm gonna read them and I'm gonna enjoy them because I was very surprised at some of the stuff that I had saved up in here. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe and also, I am uploading a Nyla Kitty video. It's been literally years. The reason I'm doing it is because I was on my old computer and I found footage of Bamboo taking a bath for the very first time. So this is old footage. Yes, it's in the old house, which I know you guys love to see stuff like that. Um, so if you want, go check it out. It's on the Nyla Kitty channel and I will link it below. And I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Peace.